Women expect things to just happen because they're women. They think they deserve the best of everything, including men, just because they're female and they might have a great body. Then they wake up one day and they're 43 years old, they're alone, they're childless, and then they have the gall to ask, why am I not married? Well, the answer is that they didn't pay the price. And even if they did pay the price, they didn't want to continue paying that price. You see, ladies, finding and keeping a man of value requires effort from start to finish. Women do not understand that in 2019. They expect high value men to just flock to them because they're women. They expect high value men to stick around even though they maintain friendships with all their ex-boyfriends. They expect high value men to love them unconditionally even though she's gaining weight every month. They expect high value men to tolerate their bad behavior and keep them around regardless of how they act or their attitudes. When they have this rude awakening in their late 30s, early 40s, they get bitter and they blame everyone but themselves. Ladies, if you're watching, this one's for you. There is a price that you need to pay to make a man of value want to keep you around. That's how this goes. For the record, I know you're not going to pay this price, but now that this episode is in existence, you can't say you didn't know, you can't say I didn't warn you. So there are eight main things, eight main costs, eight main prices that women have to pay to get and to keep a man of value around. There are many more, but these are the main ones. Number one, you got to keep in shape. Looks are important to us, ladies. It is, as a matter of fact, it is the most important thing. Doesn't matter how accomplished you are. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter about your personality. Doesn't, ma doesn't matter how much money and success you have. If you're fat, if you are unattractive, we are not interested. No, we're not looking for nines and tens. We don't expect you to just be drop dead, devastatingly gorgeous and beautiful. We don't expect you to look like, you know, a supermodel. We don't expect you to look like Scarlett Johansson. But we do expect you to maintain a decent shape, as in not fat. And I'm not talking about thick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to maintain an excellent feminine figure. If not, we're not interested. I don't care what you say. Listen, you can call us shallow. You can insult us. You can do all. Listen, that's not going to change our motivations. Men of value don't want overweight women, period. That's just how it is. You want a man who can't keep his hands off of you? Stop eating junk food. You want a man who wants to have sex with you all the time? Hit the gym five times a week. You want a man who wants to show you off and take you places? Make better food choices. Keeping the attraction of a man of value has a price. It does not come for free. So if you want attractive men to find you attractive, there is a cost. If you do not pay the price, attractive men will not find you attractive. Bottom line. Number two, be trustworthy. Men of value do not commit to women who sleep around. Men of value do not commit to women who keep their phone under lock and key. You want a man to trust you? There is a price to be paid. I'm going to say that a lot, ladies. Get used to this. This is going to be a recurring theme. And the price you pay is giving him access to your phone at all times. <gasps> oh my God, I can't believe he said that. Well, listen, if you're not ready to give up your phone, then you're not ready for a relationship. Nothing wrong. It just means you're not ready. You want to maintain the trust of an attractive man? Tell him who you're texting when he asks and don't give him attitude about it. If you want his commitment, he has a right to know. If you think he doesn't have a right to know, then you don't want his commitment. Again, that's not a crime, but you can have it both ways. If you want a man to trust you, tell him where you are, what you are doing, and who you are doing it with before he has to ask you. Men of value do not commit to women that they have to wonder about. Ladies, take all the mystery out of it and tell him where you are, what you're doing, and, what, and when you'll be done. Now, most of the time, he's not going to ask you. Why, might you ask? Because he's got other options. If he has to ask you where you are, what you're doing, who you're doing it with, and when you're going to be home all the time, he's going to bounce because you've now become a headache for him to deal with. 
Girls always ask this question, where have all the good men gone? You know what? I'm feeling altruistic today. Uncle Donovan is going to tell you where all the good men have gone. They're with the girls who aren't Facebook and Instagram attention seekers. They're with the girls who have cut off all contact with their exes. And this means serious relationships, one night stands, hookups, friends with benefits. They're with the girls who stay off social media. They're with the girls who are upfront about what they're doing, where they are, and who they're doing it with. The high value men, they're with the girls who have no problem handing them their phones when they ask to see it. Men of value, men with options, they're with the girls who aren't at the club, who aren't at the bar every weekend. They're with the girls who don't have, who don't still have accounts on Tinder, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, Match.com, Christian Mingle, Farmers Only. They're with the girls who don't lie to them. They're with the girls who proactively earned their trust. I'll say it again. They are with the girls who proactively earned their trust. If you want attractive men to trust you, there is a price to be paid. If you are not willing to pay that price, that's fine. Most women aren't. But don't come crying to me when you're 39 and still single talking about where have all the good men gone? Don't cry about not getting something of value for free because at the end of the day, you didn't want it bad enough because if you did, you would have understood the cost and paid the price. Number three, put your needs before his. Ladies, don't get selfish, right? Listen, you guys get everything. Quit making it all about you. What can he do for me? Ladies, you already have the world at your feet. You want high value men to stick around? Do right by him. If you take care of a man of value, he will take care of you. Quid pro quo. Why doesn't he take care of me? Because you don't take care of him. Well, he should do it first to prove it. No, nah, baby girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the way it works. You should do it first because you're the one who needs his commitment. He doesn't need yours. You see, ladies, your commitment is a luxury to him. It does have the potential to elevate his life, but trust and believe he does not need your commitment. His commitment to you, however, is a necessity. And how do we know women need men more than men need women? Because men aren't writing articles about why they're still single at 38 years old. Being single at 38 is being in the driver's seat as a man. Men aren't depressed that they're 45 and unmarried. Oh, no, 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 no. We celebrate it. We love women. There's no doubt about it. But trust me when I tell you, we don't need you or your commitment to be content. It is the other way around. And that is why you need to take the first step and take care of us first. That is how this works. That is the price that you pay if you want the commitment of a man of value. Number four. Never, ever suggest or ask him to go to the bar or the club with your girls and never ask or suggest that you go out with your girls for a weekend beach trip or some sort of weekend Vegas trip without you. Ladies, we're not stupid. We know what happens when you're with your friends at clubs, bars, beaches in Vegas. Guys, I can't count how many wives and girlfriends I slept with in Vegas. I've slept with girls who had boyfriends. She was on a girl's trip. I've slept with wives who are in town for a conference. We know what happens. The minute you mention to a man of value, a man with options, that this is something you want to do, guess what happens? He's already mentally checking out. He knows you're trying to get male attention and will probably sleep with someone else. And oh, by the way, asking his permission does exactly the same thing. You see, by asking him, you're telling him that this is what you want. And if this is what you want, he's going to check out and he's probably going to just dump you. Oh, he's going to tell you that you can go, right? If he's a man of value, he's going to tell you you can go because he knows that the fact that you asked permission in the first place indicates the need for male attention other than his. He knows that he can't really, he, know, he doesn't want to control you. He doesn't want to tell you what you can or can't do. He wants you to make the right decision of your own free will and volition. So if you ask him, he's going to tell you, yeah. And if he has trained you properly, you will know that if you engage in this kind of behavior, then you no longer have his commitment. But when you get back, he's not going to be the same. And it won't be long before he tells you, well, we need to go our separate ways. Then you'll wonder why he dropped you like a hot potato 
and whine to your girlfriends, I don't know what I did wrong. I asked his permission, but they know what you did wrong. Oh, yes, they do. You spent the night with some hot Russian guy at the Bellagio and didn't see your friends until the next morning when you met them at Denny's, having just come from the Walgreens pharmacy downstairs, picking up that plan B pill because you forgot to tell Alexei to use a condom. A man of value is never going to put a gun to your head because he knows he doesn't have to. So when you ask him permission to willingly put yourself in situations that will inevitably lead to cheating, don't act like you don't know why. Don't act like you don't don't act like you don't know why he didn't pick you up from the airport on Sunday night.